Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Mendes and today I'm going to show you why Microsoft SQL Server Dynamic Ports are not supported with Master Data Management or just MDM. Of the agenda is first let's talk a bit about Microsoft SQL Server Dynamic Port. What's that? Basically it's a feature that uh, when you start or just restart the uh, SQL Server database, it takes any available and random port that is free at the OS level. So, what happens to MDN when the environment starts using? This is what I'm going to show you now. Okay, this is my test environment where I have everything installed. Uh, which is up and running here, the SQL Server, the application server, and also the master data management. Uh, as we can see here, let me show you. Uh, the SQL Server database It's using the default port number, which is 1433. So if we look here, all of them point out to this port, 1433, which is the default. Uh, master data management has been installed and configured to use this port. So, let, so as you can, I'm going to show you now. If everything works properly, so if I just launch the, let me just launch the hub console and show you a few things. It's launching. Accept. Let me run it. Okay. I just entered the username and password. So just connected. And I can do some navigation here so everything is working properly. Uh, now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to simulate an environment that starts using the dynamic port in SQL Server. Oh, first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to enable dynamic ports here. I need to change this configuration. Set the TC TCP dynamic ports to zero. Okay. Zero. Delete this one. Zero. Delete this one. Delete this one. Zero. Delete this one. And finally, the last one here. Okay, I'm going to apply. It's asked the change here will take effect just after you stop and start the SQL Server. I'm going to do that. I'm going to stop the SQL Server and restart it. And also I'm going to stop the application server to simulate that. Okay, I'm going to restart the SQL server and just restart it. Let's open the SQL server configuration manager, go to the network session select TCP IP, IP address, now it's using dynamic port and as you can see it has taken this free port at OS level. So this is the new port that the SQL Server is listening to incoming connections. Okay, let me just restart the application server. Okay, application server has been restarted. Microsoft SQL Server using the dynamic port. Now I'm going to launch the MDM Hub Console. Just launching. Downloading the application. Oops. 
just fail. Let me try once again. Oops, it's, it's here. Let me enter the username and password. It's trying to log in. Okay, just launch it the second. It, I just launched it twice. No problem, I closed the second one. So it failed. Let's take a look at the details. There is an error message here. Let me copy it. Let me open a notepad. Let me paste the error message. So, as we can see, it reports this error message. TCP IP connection to the host on port 1433 just faded. Let's remember that the SQL server is using dynamic port and this time it's answering by this other port. So, that's why you should not use Microsoft SQL Server dynamic ports with master data management. So in summary today you have learned why SQL Server dynamic ports are not supported and should not be used with master data management. We'd love to hear from you. Please get in touch by support videos at informatica.com or by Twitter. Info support. Thank you.